What's up, hooligans? So today, I want to touch base with you guys on some stuff, like, about me personally. I want you guys to know why I made this YouTube channel. It's not for views, it's not for popularity, it's not to ever make money, because I highly doubt I will ever get that high up in views or subscribers. But, I made this channel because I suffer daily with agoraphobia, I suffer from panic attacks and depression because I have a heart condition called postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. It's very debilitating at times. I pass out frequently and lose consciousness. But what really tops it off is the agoraphobia. Like, there's days where I am so scared to do anything like my body is stuck in fight or fight situation constantly due to my POTS syndrome and <clears throat> there's people out there who would look at me and they just like the thing I hear the most well you don't look sick with a uh, dysautoimmune disease you can have Ehlers-Danlos syndrome you can have POTS you can have all kinds of stuff and you don't look sick you never know what kind of battle somebody is fighting within or health wise so don't ever say well you don't look sick to somebody if you don't know what they're going through like I struggle daily with leaving my house getting even out of bed I don't like being left alone. I always have some constant fear that something bad or crazy is going to happen. And I talk myself out of doing stuff a lot. We kind of live around me. And it feels really crappy sometimes because you always feel like you're ruining something. Because nobody likes to just sit in the house all day and do nothing it's depressing but with my pots it's very difficult also because with normal heart rates don't my heart rate starts super fast my heart rate is beating faster than a normal person so like if I sit too long because I have low blood value 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 all my blood will go to my feet and I get dizzy, I get headaches, I get nausea, I get vomiting, I get muscle cramps and weakness. I have problems sleep. <coughs> I'm on a constant pain schedule, as I call it. If I'm not hurting, I said we gotta do something fun today. If I don't talk myself out of it. Just getting in a car to go somewhere is a struggle for me. Doctor's appointments. If I have to go to a doctor's appointment, I make it at least two weeks away so that I can give myself a pep talk and be like, you're going to the doctor, you have to go to the doctor, you gotta get you a checkup or something. And it's just a struggle and it's hard to explain because you can explain it all day but nobody will ever know how you as the person who is suffering with it feels. I couldn't even finish high school. I graduated, but the school said I was a liability. So I had to be homeschooled. I graduated with my class. I got to walk with my class, but I wasn't allowed to go to school with my class because if I passed out and hit my head or something, I could fall. I can't walk up and down the stairs because, you know, as normal people know, you walk up and down stairs, your heart rate fluctuates. So Lisa couldn't walk up and down the stairs. Lisa can't ride the elevator because the gravitational pull makes her blood flow to her feet and she passes out. And with that, I had to constantly have water and salt. Water and salt. Water and salt. If you look it up, if you Google POTS syndrome, there's so much information out there about it, but it's still very unknown. Even doctors don't know a lot about POTS syndrome. So it's frustrating when you go to the hospital. They think you're just having anxiety. 
but it's not anxiety it's my pause i can't take a certain medicine that they try to give me and then i tell them i can't take that i can't take this i can't take that they automatically assume that you're just there because you want painkillers or some type of drug to get high from but it's not like that my heart can't handle that like when i have sinuses infections and stuff i can't take nasal spray because it has epinephrine in it which makes your heart rate go up like breathing treatments make me really jittery which they say it does a lot of people but it's dental work we have to have non we have to have a certain kind of um drug free thing to numb you with because with POTS patients it makes you sick and jittery and we get tunnel vision a lot and it's it's really hard to live with and being a mother of two children you feel like they're missing out on everything because you can't do certain things but you can do certain things but in your brain you can't do certain things like going to the zoo because I'm afraid to be around big crowds because I'm afraid I'm gonna pass out in front of people and they're just automatically gonna assume that I'm on drugs that's how it was when I was in middle school when I first got diagnosed with POTS everybody was saying that I was on drugs or I was pregnant when I wasn't because we at that time didn't know what was actually going on inside of me with the POTS. It just one day I told my mom I have a headache and I passed out. And it just kept happening ever since that. It got so bad at one point in time I was passing out three to four times a day for no reason. Like it just started and it never went away. And like I always say you never realize that you can go to bed one day and wake up and your entire life is changed. So don't ever take life for granted when, like, you want to do something and you can do it. Because you never know when you're going to wake up and just be sick and never get better. I used to be a model. I actually was a model for Fashion Bug Industries. I ran runway. I was one of the top singers in my choir in high school and middle school and it all just ended one day because I had a headache. I, I've been disabled since I was 13 years old. I've never had a job. Nobody will hire me because I can't stand on my feet very long because my heart rate jumps to 100 beats per minute and then and higher and then higher the longer I stand. With POTS, your heart rate is going too fast and your brain is trying to tell your heart you need to slow down, but our nerves, our nervous system dysfunctions, so my heart's not listening to my brain. So my brain tells my heart, all right, then fool, we're going to do it my way, and I pass out. and it kind of resets me my whole body goes limp and everything just goes now when I shut down and then like who's gonna hire somebody who's gonna be stocking shelves or something and then just pass out like nobody wants to I've never been able to get a driver's license because I have to be well they call them seizures I have to be seizure free for six months. I've never been seizure free for six months. I pass out. I get close. I've been super close. I actually was able to get my permit once. And then after that, I couldn't do it. I couldn't stay seizure free for six months. It's, it's hard. You think to yourself, what am I doing wrong? Am I eating wrong? Am I not exercising enough? Which with POTS, it's very hard to exercise because you, um, you have an intolerance to exercising because everybody knows cardio goes with exercise so you um you learn to adapt to how you have to live now i mean there is exercises out there you can do and with all the pills they put you on salt pills and all that you tend to gain a lot of weight and then you start to fall into the depression because you're gaining so much weight i was a double zero in size pants before I got sick. 
I am now uh, 16, 17 size pants. I've had doctors tell me, oh, well, you pass out in your seizures or because you're obese. Excuse me, I was a wet noodle before I got okay, before I got pots. I was so skinny. I mean, like I said, I did runway. I was a model. You have to be a certain size and weight to do stuff like that back then. Now, if you don't. But I just want to make this video to let you know that I made this YouTube channel to help me go outside of my comfort zone to push myself to the limits to see if I can film content for the day. I don't care if the video isn't getting 950,000 views like everybody else is. I mean, it would be nice if I could get at least a couple subscribers and comments and likes, but if it doesn't and I make this video and I edit it and I post it and I can rewatch it and know, look at you girl, you made that video and you didn't have a complete panic attack. You went out, you went to the, for a walk or something. A lot of my vlogs are gonna be senseless to other people, but to me, they're gonna be everything. They're gonna be that one time when I went for a walk, that one time when I went to the beach, or that one time I actually went on vacation and had fun. For once in my life, Lisa is going to push herself to the limit and we're going to get this anxiety to go away. And this is what this YouTube channel was made for. For me to bring myself out of my comfort zone. So, I mean, if you are out there and you're suffering with anxiety or depression, or even if you have POTS, let me know. Leave a comment down below and tell me. I was 13 when I got diagnosed, so I went all through middle school, all through high school, well, half of high school, and now all through adulthood, and I just want people to know that you're not alone. Don't let people think you're crazy if you have anxiety. You can't help it a lot of the times, and even talking about it, I get shaky. Like if I'm trying to tell myself, we're going to go to the store. I have not been to a store an actual store like inside Walmart well I've been to Walmart once but I have not been to the grocery store my husband slash boyfriend goes grocery shopping and I swear I'm not lying four years I don't like going into grocery stores but if you go shopping and you do it and you have anxiety good for you because I know I can't do it I will never judge anybody for doing something that they thought they couldn't do and then they did it. Just because you think you can't do it and you did it doesn't give people the right to say, oh, you were faking it, look, you went and did it. No, there's good days and there's bad days and people don't understand that a lot of the time. So, yeah. I know this video's probably got people going, oh, she just wants attention, but I don't. I don't care if I get attention. I don't care if I get a like on this video. I just want you all to know that this this channel isn't going to be one based content it's not going to be family vlogs it's not going to be haunted vlogs it's not going to be craft vlogs it's going to be lisa vlogs it's going to be vlogs of my accomplishments in life that i am pushing myself to do so if you want to come along on my journey you're more than welcome to come i would love to have you come with me but if you don't that's okay because I was given this journey and I know I'm going to have to find it alone a lot of the time, but I'll survive because I'm a fighter and I've been a fighter since I was 13.